pH indicators are water-soluble substances that change color according to how much basic or acidic the solution becomes. In that particular experiment, we prepared alkaline solutions of six different indicators and followed the color changes while pH decreases slowly. To achieve gradual decrease of pH, we used dry ice. When added in water, some carbon dioxide dissolves in it and produces carbonic acid, which in turn releases protons and leads to slow decrease of pH. Now let's take a close look to color changes when we add dry ice to basic indicator solutions. It is a great example of how colorful chemistry can be. Sodium polyacrylate is a polymer notorious for absorbing huge amounts of water. It attracts water molecules due to its charged groups and the polymer expands in volume. Now all water is retained inside the polymer chains. Let's take a closer look. Watch how a few crystals drain up a drop of water. The process can be reversed by adding sodium chloride. Sodium and chloride ions draw water molecules out of sodium polyacrylate and the polymer shrinks again. Cupric oxide is a black, water-insoluble solid that reacts with sulfuric acid in a neutralization reaction, producing the greenish-blue copper sulfate. To speed up the reaction, we preheated the sulfuric acid solution. When copper sulfate is added to an ammonia solution, a bright blue complex of copper tetraamine is produced. However, if ammonia is not in excess, a copper 2 hydroxide precipitate is formed. In this experiment, a piece of dry ice sublimes to CO2 gas, which is conveyed to a kitchen soap solution. The higher pressure inside the flask forces the formation of a dry ice bubble. These bubbles are very bouncy, because they are more stable compared to typical soap ones. Moreover, CO2 partially diffuses across the bubble soap film, and therefore the bubble gradually decreases in size. This is a beautiful demonstration of carbon dioxide being a great fire extinguisher. Notice that it actually behaves like a fluid running atop the lighting candles. Carbon dioxide displaces air and therefore oxygen, because it is 50% heavier than air. Vesuvius. <laughs> <laughs>